Hi, in this video we're going to introduce methods and parameters in Java. So remember, we can make our code easier to understand by breaking it down into methods, and we can avoid writing repeated code by using methods. So now with that in mind, let's see how we can improve our methods. So let's look back at our printing line breaks example. So here we have code that looks very similar, except for that the line breaks are different lengths. So the first one is three, the next one has six stars and six equal signs, and the third one has 20. So there is some repeated code, but it differs just a little bit. How can we solve this problem? So introducing parameters, and what parameters are, are inputs to methods. So if we think about methods as being boxes, then our parameters are like those inputs to our boxes. So for example, let's say we give as an input to our box that we want a line break of length four, then our box, that's what it gives us. And let's say we give our box that we want a line break of length 10, then that's what it gives us. And so that, that method, that box, it basically knows how to take in some inputs and do some work with it and give you back what you want. So that's what parameters are. Parameters are inputs to those methods. So what does a method with parameters look like? Well, we write private, void, print line break, and then int length. And so int length, that highlight in blue, that's our parameter, that's our input to our method that lets us vary what it does. And this is saying the method is gonna get as an input an integer called length. So here's another example of looking at parameters as inputs. So let's say you have a method called sum. You want to add two numbers together. So our inputs, let's say they're 2 and 2, then the result, the sum, is 4. And let's say our inputs are 4 and 300, then the sum is 304. Our method can define how we sum numbers more generally, but we can vary those inputs. So what does sum look like? We say private void sum int a comma int b, and then we can use those parameters in our method. So we say int total equals a plus b, and then system.out.println total. So let's go into our code editor and look at these problems. Okay, so first we'll run our code for the varied line breaks. So we'll run this and see that what we get. And now what we want to do is we want to write a method. So we'll say private void print line break, except we want to vary the length of the line break. And so we'll say int length. Length is our parameter. And so then what we want to do is we want to figure out how to print a line break with a certain length. <coughs> so to do that, since we since we know the length, we'll use a for loop. So we'll say what we want to do is we want to say for int i equals zero, i is less than length i plus plus, and then we'll print out um, an equal sign, and then we'll print out a new line, and then we'll print out repeated length number of times, we'll print out r star, and then we'll print out a new line. So what this is doing here, this code, is it's saying length number of times, repeat, print out an equal sign, and then a new line, and then length number of times, repeat, print out a star. So that's how we actually print out a line break. So now I can replace these lines with a method called to print line break of length three. If we run our code, we'll see we get a line break of length 3. But if I change that to 20, for example, look here and we'll see that that line break will get a lot longer. Great, you can see we now have a general purpose method to write a line break of any length. So I'll replace this with a call to print out a line break of length 6. And here we can print out, oops, line break of length 12, and here we can print a line break of length 20 again. So here when we run our code, 
we'll see we can actually get the same result, but what we've done is create a much more general purpose method that lets us create a line break of any length. So here, these are the parameters, 20, 6, 12. And now our method up top is the recipe for how to print a line break of that length. Let's look at another example. So in this example, what we want to do is we want to write a sum method. So we want to write a method that will print out the result of adding two numbers. So sum two two should print out four. So let's write that method. So we'll say private void sum, and then it's two inputs, it's two parameters, our int, we'll call it a and int b. Now enter, open close curly bracket, and what we want to do is we want to add those two numbers. So we say int total equals a plus b. And then we want to print out the total. So we'll say system.out.println total. And now when we call sum to 2 and run it, we'll see it prints out 4. But we've written a general purpose method with parameters. So if I call this on other numbers, so if I say 130, what do you think it should print out? Well, it prints out 130. And similarly, we can try it again with some big numbers. And we'll see that it still works. What we've done is create a general purpose method using parameters. So now it's your turn.